and I noticed buzzard, two buzzards flying around and three deer in the field. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I am in a really nice wooded area um, just out of Stenin, locally for me this is, and I have filmed here before. I filmed here um, about a month ago I think when I did a short video on inexpensive um, wildlife hides and when I was setting that up uh, right in the far corner of the woods there were two fallow deer that walked through and got spooked by me doing a piece of the camera and putting up a, a hide but it was such a nice area I wanted to come back before the greenery dies too much and now we're kind of middle towards the end of September and um, I'm hoping that, I know the kind of rutting season for this year is October, but I was hoping that you might get a few bellows from them this time of year. I have situated myself in a nice little clearing, um, and hopefully um, by now you'll have seen a little bit of drone footage from where I am. I wanted to kind of get all that out of the way before I settled myself in for the day. The sun is coming out, going away. We've got about, it's patchy clouds, so we're getting some good, good light. When that light comes in, it dapples through those trees onto the ferns, absolutely glorious. So I'm hoping, I and mean, it'd be nice if we could get deer and the dappled light on the ferns at the same time, preferably a stag. I don't mind, I really don't mind. Um, I am in no rush whatsoever today. I am really enjoying the spot here. If it's a good spot and a successful spot, I will come back here in the fall for another month or so. Definitely um, hoping to catch all of these in their real kind of golden colours. Um, it's surrounded by oak trees in here, prominently oak trees. There's a few silver birch but I would say 90% of them are oak. So I'm gonna just wedge myself in, get my coffee, put my, um, put my balaclava on, and um, set myself in. And, uh, and see what turns up. That's the plan. You know, you sit there, you wonder if you're in the right place or you doubt your methods. But you see, all of these missed images and missed footage is what helps make you become better. Although I do just enjoy the focus of 
finding and watching, listening for the faintest of sounds. That for me is the enjoyment, although it wouldn't hurt to just get one image today, for a change. Just one. Little did I know how spoiled I would be before the day was out. Geez, well, I came over to this side of the woods. I could hear the buzzard really close, so I kept whistling for it. And I kept him getting closer and closer, so I thought he's hovering around the field on the far, hmm, it's kind of south side of the, of the woods. So I grabbed my camera, grabbed my GoPro, headed over this way, put my tripod down, went to move my GoPro, and I noticed buzzard two buzzards flying around and three deer in the field so I in fact he's really close to buzzard I'm gonna I'm gonna film him bear with So two in one, ouch, a two in one day. Planned on deer, thought it'd be nice to get the buzzard at last, and there we have both. And not even where I've just spent the last three and a quarter hours. <laughs> but that goes to show, doesn't it? That is the fun, the excitement of wildlife photography, for me anyway. Patience, peace, quiet, calm, in the woods, where I expected to see him. 
but no. I shouldn't know actually, I've seen enough people where they nestle amongst hedges towards open fields. I just assumed that the woodlands would be the better option today. What do I know? Lesson learnt. The buzzards were close, there were three deer in the field so I concentrated on the deer and not the buzzards. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to get time for both. But as it turns out, the buzzards came back again whilst I was doing a piece of the camera. What an awesome day. I know it's been a few videos <laughs> without any wildlife for me, which is um which is not surprising. I am not the best wildlife photographer in the world. But I do love it. Well I think I'm gonna finish on a high. I'm certainly hungry now, so it's time to go home and get some food. I hope this video has been a bit more interactive for you, a bit more interesting with footage, etc. etc. It has for me, I've absolutely loved it today. Uh, if you have liked what you've seen and you'd like to give it a thumbs up, that really would help the channel grow. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, then please do because I, I noticed that 89% uh, of people that view my videos aren't subscribers. And if you aren't and, you, and you've been thinking of being, then please do click the subscribe button. That really does help my channel. And if you'd like to know when my next video is out, click on the notification and it'll let you know as soon as it's live, which is every Friday at kind of 6 p.m. Ish. Well for now that's it, thanks for watching, bye for now.